Okay, see this question. Here we have got a fixed wedge of angle 45 degree on both the sides. Here we have block A, block B. Block A has mass M, block B has mass 2M. They are connected by a string over here. Okay, now the question says that the coefficient of friction between the block A and the wedge is 2 by 3 and that between the block B and the wedge is 1 by 3. Okay, so between A and wedge is 2 by 3. Let's write down over here. So mu A equal to 2 by 3 and mu B equal to 1 by 3. So then now the question says that if the blocks A and B are released from rest, find the acceleration of A, the tension in the string and the magnitude and direction of the force of friction acting, acting on A. Now, whenever you get a question like this, where we have friction, but we don't know whether the friction will be static or kinetic, you have to assume something and solve. You have to assume something and solve. Okay, so first of all, we don't, since we don't know whether the blocks will slide or not, that's what the question, first question is asking, right? We have to find the acceleration, but we are not sure whether they will be sliding or not. So let's just assume, let's start with the assumption that assume sliding. Assume sliding means what? Friction should be kinetic. Friction should be kinetic. Okay. Friction will be kinetic. And obviously, since the block B is heavier than block A, block B should try to go down and block A should try to go up. So in, this, in that pos position, in that position, this is my block A and this is my block B. Okay. So let's draw the components of the forces. So the gravitational force will have two components, 2mg by root 2, 2mg by root 2, okay, and 2mg by root 2. Here also, 2mg by, uh, sorry, this is only mg mass. So mg by root 2 and mg by root 2, correct. Then we have uh, normal force, Na and Nb. Finally, we have friction. Since block B is sliding in this direction, friction should act upwards on block B and this is FB and on block A, friction should act downwards. So this is FA and FB and FA both will be kinetic. Okay. Now, obviously the two blocks are connected by tension. So this is tension over here. This is tension over here and assuming same acceleration for both A, A. Okay. So. 2mg by root 2 minus t minus fb 2mg by root 2 minus t minus fb equal to mass of b is 2m times acceleration a so mg root 2 minus t and frictional force fb will be what mu times nb but nb will be equal to this value nb will be again mg root 2 and mu is what over here 1 by 3 so minus mu is 1 by 3 times normal force. Normal force will be mg root 2 is equal to 2 ma. Okay. So mg by 2 minus mg root 2, mg root 2 minus mg root 2 by 3. So 2 root 2 by 3 mg minus t is equal to 2 ma. So this is my first equation. Similarly, for the second block, block A. Tension upwards, mg by root 2 and fa downwards. So t minus mg by root 2 minus fa is equals to ma. Block A has mass m. Correct. So t minus mg by root 2 minus coefficient of friction over here is 2 by 3 between A and the wedge. Here we have friction coefficient 2 by 3. And friction will be how much? mu into normal force so normal force is na na will be equal to mg by root 2 so 2 by 3 times mg by root 2 is equal to ma so t minus adds these two phi mg by 3 root 2 is equal to ma now add the two equations so when you add them t and minus t will cancel out so you get 2 root 2 by 3 mg minus 5 mg by 3 root 2 is equals to 3 ma. So we get minus mg by 3 root 2 is equals to 3 ma. 
Now, obviously, we know that block B is heavier, so this should go down and this should go up. But according to our solution, we are getting negative answer. That means the block B cannot go down. Okay, but obviously, since block A is lighter, so it cannot go down and block B cannot go up. That cannot happen at all. That means our assumption that the uh, assume that sliding is there is wrong. There is no sliding involved, so the acceleration will be zero. Our assumption that sliding is there is giving us contradiction. The assumption of sliding is giving us a contradiction over here, and because there is a contradiction, so the assumption we have taken is wrong. That means there is no sliding, and acceleration will be zero. So since acceleration is zero, friction will be static. So now we have to solve the situation again with no sliding. Okay, there is no sliding. Friction is static. Okay, friction static. Okay, but static means still means that either the friction will be equal to mu mg or sorry mu into normal force or less than mu normal force. So friction will be less than equal to mu times normal force. Okay. Now in this system. Okay, whenever you get such two blocks connected by a string and we have the static friction, then always start with the block which has got greater force along the string. So here we have 2 mg by root 2. Here we have mg by root 2. So along the rope, this force is greater. So start with this block always. Okay, start with block B. So this force should be balanced by friction plus tension. Okay, 2 mg by root 2 means mg root 2 should be fb plus tension because we have zero acceleration now what is the maximum value of fb so fb will be less than equal to mu times normal force mu is 1 by 3 and normal force is mg root 2 so this is mg root 2 by 3 maximum value of friction is less than this force mg root 2 by 3 is less than this force that means we have to take friction is equal to mg root 2 by 3 okay so mg root 2 equal to mg root 2 by 3 plus tension so we found tension will be 2 mg root 2 by 3 and now we use this tension value to find the friction on block a okay so for the block a t is equal to mg by root 2 plus fa for the block a t is equals to mg by root 2 plus fa or 2 mg root 2 by 3 is equals to mg by root 2 plus fa. So fa will be equal to mg by 3 root 2. Okay. So we found fa and fb. That's what the questions were asking. We have to calculate tension and the friction force on A.